Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS. In this video, I just want to do a quick walkthrough of Spark Mail. I've been using Spark for several years now, probably since the day it came out. And I did a video a few years ago, and it's one of my more popular videos. And I just wanted to revisit this application to just show you why I really love this. So let's get started. If you've yet to download Spark Mail to your device, open up the App Store app, search for Spark Mail, hit the Get button, and download it to your device. Once you've downloaded the application to your device, you should have an application that looks like a little paper airplane. I have mine in my dock because I use it so frequently. So let's jump in and take a look at some of the settings in Spark. The first thing you might notice inside of my inbox is that my emails are listed by importance. Emails that come from people are going to show at the very top, then notifications, or if you've pinned any emails, they're going to show up, and then your newsletters, and below that will be emails that you've already seen. So that's the first thing. Second thing is down here in the right hand corner, this is where you would create an email. You would tap on that and here you can come in and create an email to send. You can search your emails. You can integrate them with your calendar. If you don't like the smart inbox, you can turn that feature off, but then all of your emails are just clumped together. I much prefer to have the smart inbox on. And now let's dive into how we can set this up best for you. To access the settings area, you come up to the upper left-hand corner, tap on the three lines, the hamburger icon, come all the way down to the bottom and tap on settings. And here's where you really get into the meat of this program. Um, here is where you would find the email accounts that you have attached to Spark Mail. And if you need to add another account, you can come in here, tap on add account. There are several different types of email that Spark um, use that you can use with Spark and you can set it up manually if you need to. It, you can use, uh, if you have more than one email address, you can use one as the default. So I can click on this and I can choose to use either of these or the most recent one. So I have mine set to most recent. You can also color code so that you know which email account it's coming from. And so as you can see, I have a pink and a purple, and it just lets me know which account is receiving those emails. I'm gonna tap on the back uh, arrows to come back to the settings area. And you can attach your calendar to Spark. You also have the option to use integrations with Spark, which is a great feature if you want to send emails to, say, OmniFocus, or you want to download an email to your Files app on your device. So those are the two that I have listed right now. But if I tap on Add Service, you can choose from all of these things. They have quite a few things that they integrate with, and these all work really well. So let's come back into the settings area by closing out here, tapping the arrow in the upper left hand corner, and then I want to come into the smart inbox area. Here are all of your choices for how your emails are listed in the priority that uh, is probably most important to you. You also have a card action so that when you open an email, the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to mark it as read, or you can have it, you know, archive it or delete it after you've read it. I just use mark as read. I'm going to tap to come back into the settings area. And let's take a look at appearance. So you have a choice of the light screen. I use the system setup so that during the day, the screen is going to be light, but then in the evening after sunset, it's going to change over to the dark system setup. You also have a couple of other options in appearance. You can turn on true black so that the blacks are really dark 
and you can also choose to show avatars. Let's come back out of appearance and let's get into where I what I really like about Spark. Um, swipes. That's one of one of the greatest features where you can use a short swipe or a long swipe on an email and send it to wherever you want it to go, whether it's you want to delete it, you want to move it to another folder, I want to send it to OmniFocus, or maybe I just want to move something into the spam folder. So if I tap in here, you'll see that there are so many options for you to choose from. And so you can pretty much do whatever you want with your emails and send them to wherever you, you know, need them to go. Coming back into the settings area, um, you can add signatures, which is a great feature. And you can choose, you know, while you're in the email, you can choose whichever signature you need to. Um, you can uh, badges. So badges, uh, what I've done is I just have them show me the new badges. I don't want to know what's in my whole inbox, but I want to know how many new messages I have. And so you can turn that on for each email account that you have. Uh, email templates, you can, you know, you can write up a template, save it for later and use that template, you know, whenever you need to. I pretty much uh, just write out my emails as they come. But if you need to use email templates, you can do that. I'm going to tap the back button in the upper left hand corner. Scheduling. This is this is a great feature. You can snooze emails so that they come back to you when you want to see them. You can set up reminders so that if you send somebody an email and you want to be reminded if they haven't responded to you within a certain time, you can set that up in here as well and send later. So for send later, if you want to send an email tomorrow, but you want to type it up tonight, you can do that. So let's take a look at snoozes. They give you plenty of options and I'll show you where you can find these in the email itself. Reminders works the same way. And you can customize this however you want. And send laters. It works the same way. They give you the same options, but they each do something a little bit different. So let's tap back into the settings area. Let's take a look at notifications. If you're somebody who likes notifications uh, to come across your screen when you uh, receive a new email, you can choose to see it in full preview, sender and subject, sender only, or no preview. You can also group notifications by threads. You can choose which accounts you receive notifications. Maybe you want to receive all notifications in one account, but in another account, you want to receive no notifications. So, so there's a lot of things you can do in the notification area. Let's go back into settings and let's take a look at quick replies. So here they've added some, uh, nice features where you can use a little icon uh, with a one word reply to somebody. So if, if that's all it takes and that's all you need to do, you can go ahead and just hit that and send it to them. You can also add new ones if you'd like. Um, you type in a short description, what you want the text to say, and choose an icon and add it to the quick reply area. So let's come back out of settings and let me show you how this kind of works in the real world. So let's talk about swipes first. So I told you that you could set up long swipes or short swipes, and this is what they can be used for. So if I come up to an email and I short swipe it to the right, you'll see that I get the option to move that email to a folder that I've created. If I continue swiping a long swipe to the right, then the option becomes delete and I can go ahead and delete that email. Moving in the other direction to the left, a short swipe, I'm going to send it to OmniFocus, my task manager. If I continue swiping to the left, it will send it to spam. So that's where uh, this, this becomes so, so intuitive. 
you can, you can get rid of emails as quickly as they come in by using the swipe section. So now let's tap into an email and along the bottom is your toolbar. And so here you have the option to reply, archive, forward this email. The little clock allows you to snooze the email. When you come in here, you can customize this, but you can use any of these pre-populated um, times and dates or choose one of your own. And so say you're not ready to look at that email right now. Well, now you can move it and to another date and time and it will come back to your inbox. So let me show you. I'm going to say later today at 430. And then if I tap on the settings bar and I come down here to snoozed, you'll see that that email is there and it tells me it's coming back at 430. So let's come back into another email in the inbox. And I'll just choose this one. And so coming back down to the toolbar, you, the next option you have is print, and then you have an ellipses. And if you tap on the ellipses, you'll see that you have many other options. And if you want to edit your toolbar, here's where you would edit it. So I'm going to tap on edit toolbar and you have an, you have, you can put six things in that toolbar. And if I add say, save as PDF, you'll notice that everything becomes grayed out. I cannot put any more up in the toolbar until I remove something. So you can only have, you know, six options because the toolbar is fairly small. So let's come back out of this email and let's create an email. I'm going to tap on the little round icon at the bottom that looks like a pencil. And along the bottom here is another toolbar. Here would be where you would add a uh, attachment of some sort, whether it's a file, a photo, you know, whatever it is, this is where you would attach that. Let me swipe that away. Um, here would be where all of your email templates would be. And uh, as you create them, that's where you'll find them. Here where the little clock is, this is to set a reminder so that if this is an important email that you're sending to somebody and you want to reply by a certain time, you would set that up in here. If that person hasn't responded to you by then, that email is going to reappear uh, in your inbox and, you know, give you a little bit of a notification that they didn't respond and maybe you want to reach out to them again. And then uh, the little uh, airplane, the little paper airplane with the clock down here. This is for you to send an email later. If you don't want to hit the send button and send immediately, then this allows you to send that email later. When you're ready to send an email, you would come up here and once your email is, is typed, this will change to blue and you can go ahead and hit the paper airplane and that will send the email. You can also carbon copy your emails and blind carbon copy your emails. And then the last thing um, I want to show you is uh, in the bottom right hand corner, you see the person with the plus sign. This is where you would share your emails with any team members that you've created and added to this account. I hope that this video was helpful to you and that you can see that, you know, there's many uses for Spark Mail. It really has so many options available to you. You should give it a try, get to know it, set it up, and I'm sure you'll like it as much as I do. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.